Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you are looking to build your own personalized AI powered application or chatbot on the basis of what you have seen, said or heard digitally, then you might have a look at this new tool called as ScreenPipe. This tool not only works with OpenAI based models, but you can also integrate it with Olama. This is sort of an alternative to Rewind.ai. It is open sourced. It is quite secure because all of your data remains on your own system. It is a Rust based application. So you would need to install Rust and we will see shortly how you can install it locally. And before that, we are also going to see how to install a Rust language. It's quite an active development. So make sure that whenever you are installing it, you use the latest GitHub repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. The thing is that building a reliable stream of audio and screenshot data where a user simply clicks a button or scrolls down and the script runs in the background 24 by 7 collecting and extracting data from screen and audio input output can be quite daunting and that is where this tool tries to help. One thing you can already sense that security is extremely important because if there are agents which are running in the background trying to capture whatever you are doing online this could be this could go either way so security is paramount and that is where it also makes sure everything stays locally also there could be a lot of use cases there where you could use it for your interviews where you could use it for your day-to-day -day, um, meetings summarizing them capturing the sense of them and then the list goes on and on there are various ways you can get started by the way they also have a paid desktop app which you can simply download and run uh, but we are going to install it locally uh, totally open source and free and then we'll see how it runs before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus this is my local Ubuntu server where I'm going to run it. You can even run it on Mac or Windows likely. And this is my GPU card where I'm running NVIDIA RTX A6000. I will be using OpenAI for this. You can uh, grab your OpenAI's API key from platform.openai.com and that is a paid option. Let me clear the screen. And by the way, yes, this tool runs with Olama, but in my experience, personalized AI assistants like these they run best with OpenAI. Let's be fair there. So that is why I have decided to go with OpenAI's model. Anyway, so let me create first a Conda environment where I will keep everything separate from my local system. My Conda environment is activated. Let's install some of the prerequisites. I'm just going to update the index of my Ubuntu repos and then I'm installing all of this stuff, FFM pack and few other things. Let's wait for it to get installed. Everything is installed now. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's install the Rust programming language by simply using this script and then simply press Y here. Let's so I'm just going to proceed with one standard installation and then let's wait for it to get installed. And you can see that now the Rust is installed with cargo version. Now let's git clone the repo and then we will cd into it. And now let's try to build it with cargo. And I'm in the root of this repo. And it has started building and fetching. So let's wait for it to get installed. This is going to take a bit of a time. The build command has finished and it has given me just one warning and also a suggestion to apply this fix. So let me do that. And it is applying that fix at the moment. And you can see that it has applied that fix. Let me clear the screen. And now we can run this screen pipe by simply running this command dot target release screen pipe. And it has started downloading the models and stuff. Let's wait for it. And then it will become ready on your screen. When that happens, you can access the chatbot in your browser at local port 3000. And from there, 
if you have the microphone and you speak in it it is going to capture it i don't have because it's a virtual machine i don't have microphone installed with it but you can chat with it and remember it is using the open ais model behind the scene and for example whenever you would give it any query it is going to try to do the ocr or it will try to access your microphone for example if i click here on elon musk you see it said that reading my screen and then it is saying that the search results were repetitive and primarily contain text from a screen capture of a web page so it is just going to read those screen capture and then it is giving me the information in this format the json one which you can of course feed into any other program of your liking and as i said if you have your meeting going on you can use that and you can even use it your in your own sdk with the help of python code and you can read further detail in the uh, github repo which i will drop the link in video's description so all in all it's okay tool i mean a um, lot can be improved here but as it's a new project still evolving so play around with it let me know what do you think about it still i believe that the installation process can be improved um, because it uses a lot of steps there and then you have to keep this api server running in the background and maybe that is why we have that a desktop app which you can simply readily get from them anyway that's it let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching